Men of violence are gathered here, and I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They are not yet tired of war. But regrets are pointless. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Take your seat, and we can begin. Take your seat, and we can begin. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats, so we can begin. <gasps> Need to get mother some flowers. Pretty, pretty flowers. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Get from that. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally Cicero. ready to renounce his unjust claim that to rule over the three people you. of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. Temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. 
I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely what out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. Dragonborn has spoken, Tullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing. While the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. So I suppose, where will these demands end? I'm listening. We want compensation for the massacre at Karthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? I should have known better than to expect you to give us a fair hearing. Once again, the Empire takes the blame for the crimes of others. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty and I would be recalled. Damn Imperial arrogance. Let's hear it. We want Kralder removed as Jarl of Winterhold, and an Imperial candidate put in his place. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? I guess I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. A 
although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? As I expected, you favor your friends. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it Colovian brandy. These terms are still not acceptable. You see what talking to them gets us? Out with it, then. Never mind. I can see that these are the best terms we'll get from this council. So be it. The Empire at least puts the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Ellison? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept them until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Elmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has laced up. Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Aldrin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these worthy gentlemen, but it is written here in the scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I hope this truth gives you what you need. Long last. I don't know what to do.
Let's kill someone. <laughs> May the gods watch over your battles, friend. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great ch my men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. <sighs> I'm in my city in your hands. <gasps> Kill someone. You do have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah? Good. You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. In Sir Alduin, hmm? No, Renik Vaza. An apt phrase. Alduin Boval. 
One reason I came to your call was to test your Thurm for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his Thurm was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafen. Minduran pa ok midove navarantil. Zuulost ofan hinlam. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um? Serve you? No. Need to eat. Hmm, Croesus. There is one, only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Onikan Korav Gaid Mirad, and you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis, free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafen. Incredible. Uh, sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most... Let's kill me to perform some uh, tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you, you will not be noticed. Most of them are hard to pay. Something to tell the grandkids, eh? You sure about that? You want to let your funeral? Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. You scale. Get ready to open small the amount of blood. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. What's <laughs> new? We need Dine Ruthie, Asvan. Oh! Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover? This is as far as I can take you. Griff of Akrin. I will look for you. 